David Liebehart, outsider, musician, street performer, sign painter, artist, puppeteer, and actor, visited SUNY Purchase last week, and we got a chance to sit down and talk with him. So, how do you feel about performing at SUNY Purchase? Oh, well, I feel it's great, and I'm encouraging other young people to be uh, future uh, musicians and artists and performers. And, and uh, I used to go to college, and, and I want to encourage other kids that they can make it someday, too. Yeah, with art, well, they just have to persevere. You have a lot of lonely weekends and a lot of, a lot, a lot of times not being with friends. You're gonna, it takes a lot of sacrifice being an actor or a musician. I'm you sure. have to be dedicated. How'd you get your career started? Well, I got my career started. My parents paid for me to take acting classes at Goodman Theater and I studied other actors and musicians and I felt that's what I wanted to, to be and wanted to do. I'm also a puppeteer as well as an artist and, and painter. <laughs> When asked if he could define a shining moment in his career, David responded with this. Well, uh, getting on the Tim and Eric Awesome Show, great job. Winning on the Gong Show, uh, getting speaking lines on different TV shows and movies, doing paintings uh, and murals. Uh, wow. Right, getting my music accepted. Uh, from CCLI, Christian Copyright Licensing International. All my religious music is used in a lot of the uh, mainline churches. Hopefully David will come back soon and share some more stories with us. But for now, I'm Chris Petruccio for The Brick.